Divine Word missionary priests and brothers work in more than 65 countries around the world and on every continent except Antarctica. We are one of the largest religious orders in the church with more than 6,000 members. Divine Word missionaries work first and foremost where the gospel has not been preached at all or where the local church cannot survive and grow without the help of missionaries. This missionary mandate takes us to some of the poorest and most remote areas of the world. The needs of the local churches where Divine Word missionaries serve are vast and diverse. From operating large universities, colleges and seminaries, to staffing hospitals and clinics, to running trade schools and shelters for street kids, to assisting local communities in building chapels, Divine Word missionaries serve the poorest in large cities of the developing world and the most remote jungle areas in places like the Amazon or Papua New Guinea. Divine Word Missionaries was founded in 1875 and among the major religious orders of the church, we are the only community which continues to show steady growth in its membership. Today, more than 1,000 seminarians are in the final stages of formation before ordination. Divine Word Missionaries came to Techni, Illinois over 100 years ago and established the first seminary in the United States to train priests and brothers for the missions. Located today at Techni are the headquarters of the Chicago province, the Novitiate program, Divine Word International, and the Techni Mission Center. The Mission Center at Techni wants you to know about the missionary work of the church. For instance, in a short presentation, it is impossible to describe in any detail what we Divine Word missionaries do. So let's take a few minutes to visit just one American Divine Word missionary, Father Adam McDonald. We will let Father Adam, in his own words, talk about his missionary work and the important role missionaries play in the church. Actually, I would say that the Divine Word missionaries found me. Uh, I received a postcard in the mail uh, during my junior year of high school from the vocation office in Epworth and I had never considered religious life. I had gone to public school, did not go to any kind of parochial or Catholic school, uh, was not exposed to religious life. I had, as I found out later, indicated interest on the ACT college placement exam. Interest in religious work, social work, uh, religious you know, type of work because I had thought about being a diocesan priest but never religious. And so I get this postcard from the vocation office. We are Divine Word missionaries. We have a college in Iowa. Divine Word what? I aware? <laughs> meant nothing to me. So the postcard went in the stack of all the other brochures and pamphlets I'd been receiving. But over the next couple of months, that word missionary kept popping into my awareness. And everywhere I looked, I would see a Marinal magazine or a Glen Mary magazine. Everybody looked so happy. You know, sister's holding a little baby and she's smiling and father's saying mass and he looks so happy. And I went back and pulled out that postcard and I said, missionary, hmm, well, if they all look so happy, maybe there's something to this. So I called the number and then they called me and wrote to me and I got more pamphlets and more brochures. Someone came to visit me and my family. That made a terrific impression. Uh, one of the SVD recruiters uh, answered so many of our questions, gave us more information. The next thing I knew, I was on an airplane flying to Dubuque to visit the college in Iowa. And all of a sudden, this whole new world opened to me that I had not thought about. And I connected this newfound interest in being a missionary with something that had been happening in my life for some time. 
and that was an interest in other cultures, languages. I had studied French in high school. My first dream was to be an interpreter with the United Nations. So somewhere there was a connection with the sense of serving the world, international. And so I would say the SVD kind of found me. It was really God's grace that led them to find my name. I was one of two associate pastors in a large parish outside of Manila in a suburban, large suburban community with about 25,000 parishioners. So we had one parish church and about 40 small mission chapels, seriously. And so with three of us priests, you know, including the pastor, <laughs> we each had about four or five masses on Sunday and going from village to village, from community to community. And so a lot of the work I did was just the sacramental work, uh, celebrating the sacraments, celebrating mass, weddings, funerals, blessings. I also had the chance to work with the parish youth group. I was the spiritual director for the lector and commentators ministry. We had over 150 members of that ministry alone. And I also had a ministry every Monday uh, where I would go to some of the, what we call the squatter areas. Uh, these were very poor areas where people built basic shanties on unclaimed, unused land and built communities for themselves. And so our idea was to be Christ to them, uh, not to bring Christ per se, but to, to help them discover the Christ present in the midst of their circumstances, that they were not forgotten, they were not abandoned, that, that Christ cared for them very much, and that we, by getting to know them, would get to know by and by what were their needs and, and what could we address, be it physical, material, spiritual. One of the greatest gifts I received from working in the Philippines was the fact that having been raised here, as I mentioned, not having gone to Catholic school, being raised in a pretty secular culture, and going to the Philippines, which is 85% Catholic, I was so impressed, awed, and overwhelmed by the devotion and the faith of the people, many of whom we mentioned were in these very difficult economic circumstances and in dire poverty, and yet had much more joy, faith, and trust than I had been accustomed to growing up with here. So here I was in a very different culture, and yet I was learning from the people there. Well, first of all, as a diocesan priest, you don't answer to quite as many people. <laughs> For religious, we have more superiors, oh, and of course we're under the Pope and the Bishop where we work, but also our religious superiors. But the real difference, as I see it, would come down to the fact that my brothers who are in the diocesan ministry are pretty much tied to that one geographic area of that diocese, and they will very much, very likely be assigned to any number of parishes over the course of their ministry. So basically, a parish priest, whereas I, as a missionary, I uh, have already experienced in going to the Philippines and some other international travels uh, that the world is my parish, so to speak, and that I will tend to be moving around uh, potentially from place to place, and that my ministry will not necessarily be only parish ministry. Uh, after my first two years as a priest in the Philippines, where I had done parish work, I immediately went into more administrative type work, uh, now doing spirituality and spiritual direction and uh, leadership in the community. Yes. So it's, it's more uh, diversified, I would say. I would highly encourage anyone who's looking to make a difference in the world and to live a life that is full of meaning and purpose, uh, who really wants to get more out of life, to consider taking the risk of just answering the call, uh, whether it's the brochure, the phone number, but just taking that first step and just exploring what's there for you uh, if you never take the risk, you may not reap the reward. And I've certainly, from taking the risk of becoming a Divine Word Missionary, reaped countless rewards and continue to experience the joy of a life well-lived, full of challenges, opportunities to grow, and hopefully always growing more in the image and likeness of Christ. So, what do you think God is calling you to do? If you feel God is calling you, then He probably is. Consider a life that knows no boundaries. Consider joining the Divine Word missionaries, men who are making a difference all over the world. If you'd like further information about becoming a Divine Word missionary, priest, or brother, please contact our vocation office located at our college seminary in Epworth, Iowa. Or you can visit us on the World Wide Web at www.
www.svdvocations.org.